Hi students, welcome to chapter three, lesson three. Uh, the topic for this lesson is, how do you multiply decimals by whole numbers? Uh, so that is what you should be able to do at the end of this lesson, multiply decimals by whole numbers. So let's get right into it. Uh, the first example we're gonna look at is this, find the product or the answer of 4 times 0 0.83, a whole number and a decimal. So these are being multiplied together. Uh, the first thing that you should do if you are able is, just like we did in the last lesson, is make an estimate. So I am going to think uh, out loud in my estimate. Actually, I'm going to put right here, estimate. Well, four, that's a nice, easy, round number. I'm going to leave that a four. And 0 0.83, I'm going to think of uh, that as 83 cents, and that's pretty darn close to a dollar, so one whole. I am going to, therefore, make my estimate four times one. My estimate is about four. So if my answer is not relatively close to 4, then something's not right. So before we get into multiplying, I just want to remind you that when you are multiplying, another way that you could do that is repeated addition. So this right here, 4 times 0 0.83, means 0 0.83 four times. I could, in fact, do this. I could write 0 0.83 four times, 0 0.83 four times, and I could add that up. That would be the same thing as this. Repeat addition is uh, the same thing as multiplying. Multiplying is the shortcut of repeat addition. I could add all these threes. Three and three is six, nine, twelve. Carry the one. And then we've got four eights, which is eight and eight is sixteen. Twenty-four, thirty-two, plus one is thirty-three. So I'm going to put three here. My decimal comes straight down and carry the three. And then I wind up with three point three two. And that fits my estimate. 3.32 is pretty close to 4. Now, let's say this was uh, 9 times 0 0.83. I'd have to write 0 0.83, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times and add that all up. Well, if that number was even bigger, I don't want to write down, it's a lot of writing, too much work to solve. Let's go to multiplying, which is the shortcut for repeat addition. So if I'm multiplying uh, a whole number times a decimal, I want the, the number with the most digits on top, so that would be this one, 0 0.83. And the strategy I'm going to show you is pretend there's no decimal at all. I'm just going to multiply like it's 83 times 4. And I'm going to put the 83 times 4. And I'm going to multiply 83 times 4. So the pattern when I'm multiplying here would be 4 times 3 and then 4 times 8. So let's do that. 4 times 3 is 12. I put the 2 here and I carry the 1. 4 times 8 is 32. Plus 1 makes 30. Three. So my answer is 332. Now let's get the decimal in the right place. So the first thing you should do is, when you're multiplying decimals by whole numbers, is pretend there's no decimal. But then you do have to go back and add the decimal, 0 0.83 times 4, and you don't need to write the problem a second time. You could just be doing that right here. I'm just doing two versions to show what I'm thinking without the decimal point, and then I'm adding the decimal point. 
but I already know that this answer is 332. Now to get the decimal in the right spot, we count the decimal jumps from this side. Here's what I mean when I say that. I'm going to count one, two jumps all together. I need two jumps in my answer. One, two. So my decimal point goes right there. My product is 3.32. So multiplying decimals by whole numbers. Estimate if you can. Um, I just want to show you that that multiplying is repeat addition. And then the steps are pretend there's no decimals. Multiply as if there's no decimal at all. But then put in the decimal point and count the jumps. And you need the same number of jumps that are in your factors in your product, in your answer. So let's look at another one. Another example. Find the answer to 8 times 4.77, whole number times a decimal. Uh, again, I want an estimate. This is close to 8. 8 is uh, exactly 8. I'm going to leave it at 8. And 4.77, I would round that to 5. Again, thinking money, $4.77 is really close to $5. My quick estimate that I can do in my head would be 8 times 5. My answer, my estimate rather, is my answer should be about 40. So now let's follow the same process we did before. Pretend there's no decimals. And I want, so I am going to multiply pretending that I have 477 times 8. And so now my pattern is 8 times 7, 8 times 7, 8 times 4. Uh, by the way, I should have said this at the beginning, but for those of you that like to be organized or getting your numbers in order is not is a struggle for you or it has been in the past, I recommend showing your work on grid paper. Really nice to keep your numbers lined up. Counting the jumps makes it nice and organized. So you can always use that. It's always available in class. Uh, you can even take a few pieces to keep in your notebook um, for at home. 8 times 7 is 56. So 6 here, carry the 5. 8 times 7 is 56. Plus 5 makes 61. So 1 here, carry the 6. And finally, 8 times 4 is 32, plus that 6 makes 38. So my answer is 3,816. But now I am going to go back and put in the decimal point. So first, pretend there's no decimal point. That's what I did. Now I'm going to go back and put the decimal point where it goes. And I'm going to count the decimal jumps from right here. One, two jumps. I need two jumps total in my answer. One, two. So I know that my decimal point is going to go right here. Now, I also could have got, I, I could have used my estimate as well. The only place I can put the decimal point to get close to 40 is right there. That's it. If I put the decimal point here, I've made 381. If I put it right here, I've made 3.816. If I put it right here, I made 38 something, really close to 40. So my, an my answer fits my estimate. Um, the product would be 38.16. Okay, last one. Find the product of 4 times 0 0.012. Again, estimate if you can. Sometimes, especially when you get really small decimals, estimating becomes more difficult. Uh, 
But again, I'm going to think money. Um, four is a whole number four. That's nice and easy to work with. I'm going to think of money. There's a penny. 0 0.01, that's one cent. My next number is a two, so I would leave it as a penny if I'm rounding. Well, if you got four pennies, your answer is four cents. So what that would look like on my estimate would be about four times 0 0.01. Four times one penny is four pennies, or four cents. So that's my quick estimate that I could do in my head. When I multiply this, if I don't get something close to four cents, or 0.04, I know that I need to back up. So again, I'm going to put this number on top because it has two digits, 12 times 4, and let's do the multiplying. Pretend it's, pretend there's no decimal, and just multiply. 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 1 is 4. So I got 48. Now I'm going to go back and put the decimal where it should be. So I've got a zero right here. I've got a decimal point and another zero. I need to count my decimal jumps. So that looks like this. Actually, I want a different color. Let's go back to pink. Count my jumps from this side. One, two, three jumps. I need three jumps in my answer. One, two, three. So I've created an empty jump. Well, in that spot, you probably are already guessing, what do I put in that empty spot? It's got to be a placeholder. So I'm going to put a zero. And I'm going to put a decimal point right here. So my product is 0 0.048. Now going back to my estimate, again, there's money, 0 0.04, 8 after that, but it's about 4 cents. It's a little more than 4 cents, but it fits. This fits my estimate. So again, estimate if you can. See if your product fits the estimate. And also use the decimal jumps, counting the decimal jumps. Same number of jumps in your factors. The decimal needs to be moved the same number of jumps in your product, in the answer. So uh, that is it for multiplying decimals by whole numbers. Hopefully, uh, after you practice this today, you'll become a pro at it. And today's hidden treasure is this. It's an easy one. Today's hidden treasure is tomorrow when I check for hidden treasure, you need to have chapter three lessons, one, two, and three, the notes for all three. If you've got all three tomorrow, if your name gets picked, you will win hidden treasure. That's it for chapter three, lesson three. I will see you again soon for chapter three, lesson four.